Okay, and we're back again. And if you'll notice, this is a room he was guarding, so it's time to loot it blind. Because why not? Oh, we ignore the traps. We can't possibly fail. Hey, Spellbreaker. Ooh, that's actually a really good axe. If I used axe, I'd probably give it to someone. Can't take any of the rest of that. Disarming all the traps. Control zombie! Don't know how good that is, but why not? We'll teach it to Alaron. Unless he already knows it. I have no idea. He might. Oh, hey, Crawda, How you doing? Been a while since we thought about you. Alaron already knows it. He knows all these spells. And a bow of thunder, which is actually pretty bad. Now, all this looting, we've got all these neat items, but you may notice we're missing one thing. The horn we came here to fight uh, Zeratus for. Or what's his face? No, not Zeratus. Uh, Lugash? Lugash. Zeratus is the guy in Ugar. Why am I saying Zeratus? But uh, we're still missing the horn that he mentioned called the dragon. Look very carefully. This is very critical to the game. You cannot finish the game without this horn. But it never points you to that little crack in the wall. Now we can go see Ruga the Dragon to finally get named. Ugh. About darn time. Anyway, there's only one exit to this room, and it's the way we came in. So you've got to kind of scour the wall until you find it. Now we can put this pit of suck behind us, head back to Ugarit, talk to Zeratus, and make our way back to the dragon's cave. Also, when you pick up the horn, Alaron gets a lot of EXP. Look down there. See that six-digit number? He gets a lot of EXP. We're going to use that to finish off Wizard and generally sprinkle around into other candy-related items. Because we've got 300,000, we've got to use it. Nobody else gets that, just Alaron. If you look. Everyone else? 7,000, 8,000, 8,000, 300,000. Okay, so we want to go back east to Ugarit again, real quick. And that is over in this direction, if we can ever get out of the Barrow Downs. Oops, zombies. Oh, pfft. Couple of zombies and skeletons. Barely worth our time. Still, it'll give um, Alaron a chance to level up. So, well, hey, I guess. Let's do... I can't help but notice we never really picked up Fireball. I wonder where that one was. Oh, the heck with it. Where's Teleport? How far does that go? Gracious. That's quite a distance. Hello, Spooky Wizard. Oh, archers. Hey, wait, we don't care about archers. That's so weird. Get out of here, skeleton. Godric, get your dragon fang out. Am 
only going to kill off enough of these to stupidity the last four. Because why bother? These guys are so bad. No. Quit bothering with the skeleton. I need you stabbing the zombie. Hey guys, I don't know if you noticed, but we do a ton of damage nowadays. Godric can finish off the zombie. Brenna can... Head over this way, I guess. Ibrakan will deal with this guy. Aleron is going to get out his bow. If you have to ask which bow, you haven't been paying attention. Obviously the bow of accuracy, because the bow of thunder is terrible. Most bows are actually really bad. The bow of accuracy is really one of the only ones worth your time. Alright, that will get them in here. I guess I can actually get stupidity that far out. Yes, I can. Good god. Zombie won't stick the others. W no? Well, fine. We'll brute force our way through it. Brenna, zombie time. Because this is thriller night. Abra, can I need you over there? Man, those zombies are far away. Bucky, bucky. I always love it when the archer enemies show up because they never, ever, ever do any damage, even without shields. Ever. Even those little stupid Chaos Scout things. Yay! Not worth my time. But! We get... 12 grand out of it on top of our already ludicrous EXP. More than... Oh wow, that'll actually take all of it. Uh, hmm. I think 8's actually the highest you need it to learn spells, so we're gonna call 9 maxed and dump 160,000 into candy toys. How's your poll? 9? That's good. How is your missile? Better. Um, put points in teleportation, points in dragon flames, and we'll save that to put some in lightning when we get another fight. Times I would give for teleportation to actually be able to send us back to towns. Really, trekking across the desert. However, um, another interesting thing coming up here is we're actually pretty close to being able to go deal with the spirit we've been encountering quite a lot. We'll finally be able to see what he does. And actually, I think Godric's already started hinting at it about the merging. Because that is Aleron's spirit wandering around, and we do need him inside us. All innuendo aside, oh, I don't want to go up here after all, do I? But yeah, we do need him inside of us, because wandering around with a, without a spirit is kind of bad. Very bad. And so we'll go get that. We'll fight some giant scorpions. 
By which I mean we will ignore some giant scorpions. You know what? Aleron, get over there. It's brilliance time! As long as Godric gets it, I'm happy. Why are we casting Brilliance? Because we're using ranged attacks. I probably should have been casting it this whole time, but we've been doing plenty of damage. I just want these scorpions gone. We're so close, I can taste it. Scorpions, quit being slow. I will haste you if it makes this battle end faster. Good lord. Hey, we can get up there from when they finally get here. That doesn't actually too much more in the way of damage. This is gonna be a long, drawn-out fight. Alright. Just get stuck in. Everyone gets stuck in. To heck with it. You know what? We're gonna be heading back to civilization soon, so I'm even even gonna start using attack magic. Shock and all. It's just it's usually so bad. Oh lord. This is actually semi concerning. And by semi concerning I mean we don't really care, we just aren't used to buffing up anymore. Aleron, it's your turn. Come on, hurry up. Oh good, she psychically killed it. Aleron? I need you to take a turn. There you are. Gracious, where were you? Everyone say your fond farewells to Air Shield because it's about to get outclassed really quickly. That should be enough, though, I think. That should get us safe. Oh, you know what? I should have had Abrakan drink a potion. Actually, you know what? Instead of that, let's have Abrakan... Oh, he can't actually heal himself. Can he heal Brenna? Now, Abrakan, I know you can heal people. Oh, whatever. Not worth it. Curing potion. Maybe it's because he's got both hands full. Oh, it's a casty thing. Gotcha. Alright, well, we'll try it with Brenna when she wanders up. Brenna, go sit beside Abrakan. Abrakan, you're stuck. Go hit it. Brenna, go help him out. Oh, good lord, they backstab. So do we. Alright, Abrakan. Uh, heal yourself with herbs. Holy cow! Wow! That's actually really good at level 10. Wonder how good the uh, regular heal with hands is. 
probably not quite as good. Let's find out. Oh. So, okay, so it's a healing and a curing potion at level 10. That's reasonable, at least. Good gracious, these scorpions take forever to die. There we are, good lord. Okay. Let's, 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 what do we do? Let's level your thief. Let's level your... Throne. You can level... Dragon Flames, because it's funny. And Abrakan gets... Merchant. Merchant, merchant, merchant. Chitin' plates. We want to generally go east here. Actually, you know what? This is probably a good time to slice up the video a bit. So let me do that, and we'll be back next time, and probably at least reach Ugarit, even if we don't get our business done in there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, and we'll be right back.